father of two young boys charged with murder blames himself and the pressure and influence of gangs. Good evening, I'm Melissa Fry. And I'm Jeremy Maskell. Javaris Milton says his 12 year old son told him he did not commit murder, but he was there, he says, when someone killed Jamel Ray and shot Charles Fisher last Monday near Miller Park. Jarrell Milton is back in Omaha, arriving in police custody moments ago. He will be charged with first degree murder. Also charged, his older brother, Jamar, and 15 year old Shantavius Primes Willis. KETV News Watch 7's Joe Beth DeVera is live with what Milton's father is saying. Jeremy and Melissa Javaris tells me he is purely devastated to know his kids are possibly involved in taking another man's life. He says it's really not their fault, though, and admits he has failed as a father. I asked him, you know, is is it true what's being said? Did you did you cause injury to these guys? And he goes, No, you know, no, I didn't. He says I was there, I was scared, but I didn't I didn't cause injury to him, Dad, and I believe my son. Javaris Milton spent an hour talking to us from a Minnesota prison where he's serving life for murder. And the plan was already for them to come up here to Milton visit. talked to me at length about his sons, 12 year old Jarrell and 17 year old Jamar, both charged with first degree murder for the shooting death here near Miller Park on June 29th. Police found the 12 year old Tuesday night on this sidewalk in Minneapolis. Javaris Milton would not say how his son got there, but he does tell me the family had previous plans to leave their home to visit Javaris for the 4th of July. Jarrell uh, didn't get brought up here to run from the police. Javaris spoke with Jarrell before he was arrested Tuesday night, and he insists the 12 year old did not take someone else's life. He is not no murderer. He didn't murder this man. He didn't call this man to the park. He didn't set none of this up. He was just there. Javaris believes his kids may have lost their way after his incarceration because of the gang influence in Omaha and because of the example he set himself. If there's anybody to blame, it's me to blame. I probably made it look cool. Probably looked glorious in their eyes. And for that, he only has himself to blame. I've tried. I've tried to reach him. I tried to tell him and I tried to tell him. But like I say, the seed of, I guess, is already planted. His only hope now for the justice system to have mercy on his 12 year old boy. This is a child. This is a baby we're talking about. It is obvious that he needs some serious, serious help. And Javaris did express his con condolences for the victim's family, Jamel Ray, saying he can't imagine what they're going through. But Milton says he, too, has suffered a loss. Live in the Newsplex, Joe Bath Devera, KETV News Watch 7. Joe Beth, thanks.